All right, guys, hey, welcome uh, to another flight here. We're gonna be flying the Cirrus today. And if you guys are wondering who this guy is, he's the one that's doing all the editing. Luke is my guy, he has been <laughs> awesome. Uh, he actually works for Sarah Charlie. They have still 100% pass rate on that. 100% pass rate yeah, on our multi-program. 100%. 67 people, Ernie, that's crazy, huh? 67? 67. So if you need your multi-engine rating, no <laughs> other place to go from here. If you need anything, actually, go check those guys there you out go. We there. do it all. We, we do, do it all <laughs> right there at that hangar right, right there. Right next door. We're neighbors, Ernie. We're neighbors. Yep. <laughs> neighbors. Neighbors for now. <laughs> so anyways, let's go uh, take this airplane up. We're going to take Luke, who hasn't flown this. Uh, in a little bit, we're gonna go up to uh, Sedona and get some breakfast because you know I like Sedona. And then uh, we're gonna come on back and we're gonna put Luke in the left seat on the way back home. Ooh, sounds good to me. <laughs> All right, let's do this. All right, guys, we are on board. Got Luke. We are following the spy plane right here. You guys can probably see it off the forward camera. But uh, we're going to go to runway 21 and then uh, get on out. Scott Duck, ground. Good morning. Citation 196 Juliet Hotel with information Yankee, Southwest Jet, taxi. Citation 196 Juliet Hotel, Scott Duck, ground. Runway 21, taxi via Bravo. I'm going to just run it up real are you quick. On Jelly 530, are you ready to taxi? All right. Breaks. We're gonna go power it up, and then uh, for the run up, I kind of memorize all this just because to go back and forth from the engine page, yeah. not so hot. So as long as the CHTs are in the green, we're running up to 17. With the whole short lines, but we're gonna make the turn here. Roger that. Thank you. All right, that's left side. CHTs go up. EGTs go up. Uh, TIT most importantly goes up. Right side, same deal, EGTs go up, TIT on the right side, up. now I just turn on the lights, pedo heat, just to see that the draw, yep. turn that off, turn that off, it starts to drop, here's a big one, you see that's where plus 30, Yeah. turn off the uh, air conditioner, look how fast wow. that drops on Alt 1. Pulls a lot of energy. Yep. <laughs> so Alt 1. A lot of juice. A lot of juice. <laughs> Alright man, you cool. ready? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do this. Scottsdale Tower, Sears 5-1 Foxtrot Mike, hold short 2-1 for a northbound departure. Sears 5-1 Foxtrot Mike, Scottsdale Tower, hold short runway 2-1. Hold short 2-1, 1 Foxtrot Mike. What do you think of the air conditioning? It's unreal. Yeah? That's... Dude, wow. every single, like a pipe of how cool that is. I know. <laughs> it's like being in a, uh, honestly, it's like being in the 737. We have the little <laughs> eye holes here and I could just crank it. I mean, is it cold on the ground up there for you guys? Uh, yeah, oh, I could. Not bad, yeah. yeah. But you guys have ground air coming in for that, right? You know, the ground air doesn't work as well as the APU air. Like yes. the APU air, it, depending on the APU too. So if you guys just a, get the APU going right away. Yeah, like <laughs> if it starts getting warm back there, especially during the summer, we'll cut the ground air, turn on the APU, yeah. and then you know, I'll just max cold it. And if I want to, I could go high and just really dumps in cold air. Because you guys control the air from up there, is that right? Yeah, we have a, a air conditioned panel or pneumatic panel. Yeah. I can you know, basically turn bleed air on. Is it degrees or is it just uh, no, hot it's cold? It's hot cold. <laughs> <laughs> Boeing hasn't gotten. One Fox shot mic, no delay, runway 21, clear for takeoff, north on departure approved, traffic Cirrus, two mile final. All right, no delay, we're clear for takeoff, runway 21 for Cirrus 5, one Fox shot mic. Cirrus 9, zero, Papa, one departure party. But that dude trying to roll up on us. Come on. I know. Oh, They're trying to get us out so they can get these jets out, yeah. bro. <laughs> this is, they've been super awesome. I love these guys. Oh, yeah, Scottsdale Tower is awesome. Yep. All right, we're lined up. This is runway 21, and and we are adding full power. Not. And away we go. Early right turn for one Fox Shot Mike. November one Fox Shot Mike, right turnout is approved. Traffic entering midfield downwind 2800 is a Cessna at five north. Okay, looking for the Cessna, clear for the turn. Sears five one Fox Shot. So we're four Sierra Lima, runway two one, continue traffic holding in position. Please keep right. your speed I up, do I do have another citation Flaps to follow you. Up. Okay, we'll keep the speed up and we'll continue. So at 90 knots, we got a positive rate, bring the flaps up, then we cool. Just hey, tower, good to 525. We're going to be on the visual, 3,900 for uh, powder on three. Coming in the left. Exactly, 525, Scott Delta Tower, begin the final approach speed. Caps and available no one will call your base number two, following a citation. Right, so there's a mile final, make left traffic, runway yeah. two one. 
Stop traffic 2-1, we'll That's keep it slow for you, exits at 525. Jet Link's 530, runway 2-1, line up and wait, traffic citation 7 miles. Typically they go there right to the spire. Line up and wait, so. runway Oh, you're looking for that guy? Yeah, that's right. Andrew, Papa, turn left or right now. Yeah, I have been sat here. Been sat? Okay, I got him now. Yep. Aviator 16, traffic a mile south of your present position, 2,300 Cirrus northbound. Traffic, 1 o'clock, same altitude, 1 mile. Jet Link's 530, runway 21, clear for takeoff. Yeah, we're going to climb those guys, I think. The yaw damper automatically comes on, so... So there's no yaw damper button? No, there is a yaw damper button. Um, actually, there's no in this model. There isn't. It's a 525. So it's just on. It automatically it's comes on. Automatically fall, comes off. At what? Like two, one, clear to land. I think uh, three, four hundred feet. I should know that. But, that's uh, crazy. Somewhere around there. Yeah. But yeah, just contact. Throw it on and wow. it'll, It's almost like a, a jet autopilot. <laughs> just, <laughs> Do you guys have a flight? Uh, yard yacht ever button, correct? In the, uh, yeah, it's up top. The captain turns that on. It's just a one button switch. It turns on. It's on, automatically on. Aviator 16, extend down when I'll call your base. Extend down when you get the base, Aviator Yeah, this uh, AC is game changer. Yeah. All right, 7,000 foot shelf, so I'll go 6,500. Then if I click on COM2, I can put in the. Uh, uh, I mean, it's, it's really a short, short flight. So throwing the ASOS in, and getting everything loaded ahead. What does it typically uh, take you to get to uh, uh, sit down from here? 20, 25 minutes. Wow, yeah, that's pretty quick. Number four, Sierra Lima, stay parking. Ross. Number four, Sierra Lima, if able, turn right Alpha Seven, contact Ground Point Six. Traffic half mile final is that other citation. Thanks so much for your help. Really made it work. Welcome. Yeah, so then you can get your seat, put it back in the cruise configuration. Where's your cruise button back there? Oh, there we go. There you go. Like, it'll go pretty far back, too. That's like, comfy. It's almost, like, dangerously too far back when you do that. <laughs> You're like this. You're like, man, this like, is oh, comfy. It's, <laughs> it's like being in a lounger at home, you know? <laughs> <laughs> all right, 63465. We are clear of all that. So we'll just climb up to uh, 8,500. Actually, we'll go to 10.5. Why not? And you just let everything roll. <laughs> it's a nice day. It's not bumpy out. No, this is super nice. Uh, it's typically bumpy going up this way, yeah? Uh, depending on the winds, yeah. Like, if you go into Payson, Payson typically has crazy winds going on, um, which makes it really bumpy. So I've done, every single time I've gone from Sedona to Payson to pick up pies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Payson has good pies there. They do have good pie. Oh, man, we get rocked going in there. <laughs> yeah. A 17 knot tailwind. So oh, that's a positive. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. We're doing 121 in the climb with 1,000 feet a minute. That's yeah, 150 good. over the ground. That's not bad. Right? Huh? Like, I owned a 152. Oh, I bought. It must have felt like you were flying backwards Woo! sometimes. I mean, 67 <laughs> knots right in the climb, and it's like we we're probably doing a ground speed of 50. Wow, that's no good. <laughs> so to get to yeah. Sedona was like an hour... Yeah. An hour and a half experience. <laughs> yeah, almost, almost, it just beats the driving time. Just, just, just beats barely. It. <laughs> you get a better view, but that's about it. <laughs> beats driving. Especially like during Labor Day weekend. You know, we tend to go up to the North Country. Yeah. Last, last deal. The road, I mean, it will take you forever to get up it's here. It's insane. Yeah. yeah. I can't believe how quick this flight's gone. I feel like I'm halfway through, but we're almost there. We're almost there. <laughs> Six minutes out. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, I love. You know, it's it's funny. You always try to think of where to go. Like if you just want to go grab some breakfast somewhere or go do something. Sure. It's like where do you want to go? And my favorite Sedona. Um, Payson's also another Payson's good a one. Sneaky it is a sneaky it's spot. It is a sneaky spot. It's a sneaky spot. Good pie. Good pie. Yeah. Good breakfast. You park right there. So I mean, nice. it's it's cool. But. You know those those places are literally 20 minutes from where, from Scottsdale, which point. is crazy. Well, in this airplane, right. yeah. So it's I kind of feel almost like oh come on, you know we got to go a little <laughs> bit farther. <laughs> what but, is kind of farther, I guess? I mean, you can go to Prescott, which is a, you know hop over the mountain. Here. Yeah, it's not far. Um, uh, what's that? Uh, a good spot if you want to go, you know, get out a little bit. If you go west, Big Bear. 
Big Bear's sneaky too. Yeah, yep. he's landing there. It's cool, nice, nice town. And uh, now, is there a uh, restaurant on the field? There, there is a restaurant. Okay. It's really good too. Fuel over there is really good too. So if you're heading over to the SoCal area or it's a cool like, spot, okay. yeah, you could stop, get gas, get breakfast, and then roll out. It's away from all the busy airspace in there too. So that's another good spot. We gotta, we gotta come up with the. the the top five breakfast spots. <laughs> top we gotta go, five. We gotta go check it out, right? All right. Do our little. So we got two at least. We, we have two. The three. Yes. So now we need two sneaky spots two to tell people spots. to go to. Yes. <laughs> hey, if you know sneaky spots kind of in the Southwest California area, <laughs> you guys put it down in the comments below, and and uh, we're gonna go check it out. Yeah, we're gonna check Luke it. We'll give you a review. A yes. food, food review of the whole deal. A food review because <laughs> inside we're foodies. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we're we're really lucky having this in our backyard. I mean. Yeah, this is awesome it's up just, here. Every time I come up here, I'm just amazed. Some of these houses here are so cool. Crazy. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> you guys are having any two deals for so spawning out of 5,500 departments. Right, guys we're here uh we made uh, it we made it i didn't yeah. even know we landed or anything yeah it was, <laughs> i heard it was a good landing it and was I'm good sure, i'm sure you guys wanted to see that uh in audio but uh probably the best landing you've ever had i think i, I, I probably should have put another <laughs> battery in i uh i didn't have the right battery <laughs> actually i didn't put in a fresh battery I, you I, I take get, my word for it that was uh, a good yeah, landing yeah you take my word that's for it. correct <laughs> i i I didn't pre-flight my camera very well. <laughs> Actually, what I did was I thought I could get away with having that battery in there, Fair which enough. I used a little bit. So, <laughs> so it's all part of the experience that you get. You yeah. make bad decisions to become very knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so we're, we're gonna go grab some uh, some food, and then we'll see you guys back here. We're gonna throw Luke in this left seat. Uh -oh. We're gonna fly back to uh, Sedona. <laughs> <Sounds good. laughs> we are yeah. filming. We're live. We are live. We're back. Hey, guess what? <laughs> we swap seats. <laughs> yeah, different picture here. That's right. Right, yeah. so <laughs> Luke is gonna take us back to Scottsdale. Uh, we had a little, it was a little temperamental starting. So it was, yeah. We got the start. Might going. have been me in the last seat, though. I don't know. Yeah, no, <laughs> not because of me. <laughs> so, anyways, we're gonna head on out, taxi out of this beautiful Arizona or uh, beautiful Sedona area, and then uh, we're gonna head out back to Scottsdale. Cool. Ready to roll? I'm ready to roll. You ready to roll? I'm ready to roll. All right. So down traffic, Sirius 51, Fox Trot Mike's taking runway 21, heading southbound. So down. Yeah, I don't see anybody on the uh, TCAS there, just the guy taxiing out. Cool. Finals All clear, right, this clear is left. runway 21. Now it'll be a, a good amount of right rudder on here. Okay. You can expect just with the, uh, the torque on there, but it's actually not too bad. So just slowly advance the power then on yeah, that? Yeah, slowly advance the power. You'll be on your tips for a little bit as you get rolling, then you transition down to the bottom of the rudder pedals, so you're off the brakes. All right, two ones verified, just crossed over it. We'll start slowly bringing in the power here. There you go, slowly transition off the brakes onto the rudder pedals. There you go, full power is set. Does need some right rudder there. Yeah. So just slowly correct back to your center line. Our speed's through 60. 70 knots will start to rotate. There you go. As you rotate, a little bit of right rudder. Rotate. There you go. Nice. Perfect. We have no more usable runway. We're 90 knots, which is the min, and we're climbing. We'll go flaps up now. All right, flaps coming up. Oh, I felt my, my feet kick in there. Yeah. Sirius helping me out. Thanks, Sirius. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what are you looking to climb out of here? Uh, 120 after it, uh, you know, I climb out to get a little bit of altitude when the flaps are up, 600. just slowly. 600, the caps available. So we'll just slowly start to accelerate out to okay. 120. So what I'll do is help you out with the uh, flight director. So sure. we'll go heading select for now, flight level change and we'll be at uh, 120. So then it'll pitch you for that. All right, so we're in the climb. We'll just do a quick climb check. Cool, oxygen, power level, full forward. 
Maintain fuel for green arc is... Yep. Some of the airplanes, uh, like this, before they uh, adjusted it, the uh, fuel flow was just above the green arc, so they've adjusted it back down there at okay. Keystone Aviation. Thank you. <laughs> um, flaps, we're verifying. All right, we're up. Airspeed, Side. 120. Boost pump is good, and then we'll just monitor the engine parameters. So, Just a quick glance at the engine instruments. The green? Yep, everything looks good. I don't know. It wasn't this bumpy when I flew down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I think it's a little hotter out there. I think you put me in a bad spot. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, that takeoff is... Uh, I definitely got off a little center line there. Yeah, you know, if, if you don't catch it right away, then you have to put a lot... a lot, Not a yeah. lot more, but you have to put more pressure on that just to correct it down. And you know, the standard deal, just look at the end of the runway. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be a big correction back to the center line, but just add a little bit of a corrective value in there. Sure. So you're trending back to the center line. That way, if anything happens, you're in the center line. You blow a tire, you know, a left tire, a right tire, yep. you know, you can you can manage that a little bit better. I mean, it's so comfortable to have your arm here, though. You Isn't get your it? arm here. Yeah. It just fits perfectly with the yep. side stick. So you got used to it, what, do you, what would you say, in probably five minutes of flying? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty quick. I mean, the takeoff, for sure, I was a little like, well, okay, this thing's got some power. You know, I haven't flown anything. High performance in a while. Cessna's not considered totally high performance. So. <laughs> well, I but mean, the, the yoke, not having a yoke, having the side stick. Was having it? the side stick is actually, uh, now that I'm flying right now, like, it's pretty, like, fingertip flying. It is, yeah. I'm really surprised. And this trim, trim and left to right and yeah. and up and down, like, it's, it is really fingertip flying. It, it is, like, you yeah. Know? And it's just comfortable because it just lays there. You know? It is perfect. I mean, I'd put my arm here anyways, and my hand just rests into it. Yep. So that part's super nice. Yeah. You can see right here, now we're in the cruise configuration, so I'm going to go ahead. <laughs> there we go, especially after that lunch we had. Oh, yeah. Big old burger. All right, so how do we rate Mesa Grill? What is that? Because we can just start rating these places oh, yeah. now that That's we've... Very true. You know, we're going to be kind of the connoisseurs, so we can't be... Super generous. That's true. But, That's true. you know, I, I, I we both got the same meal, too, so we, we could be. Did. Okay. We did get the same meal. I, I think that was probably a solid seven. I like the French fries. The burger was, I think, just okay. The the bun could have yeah. been a little bit better. I don't know. Now that you say that, now the bun's in my head. The bun. I didn't think yep. about the bun until you said it. Yep. The cheese and the meat were good, actually. The cheese and the meat were good. The, and the, the fries, though. The French fries are awesome. The fries give they it a bit of a boost. They get a little curly Q fry, <laughs> so it's good. So, uh, I will say I like the breakfast there better than I like the lunch. Okay. I will say that. So, um, That's the uh, honest opinion, though. Honest it's opinion. good. Hey, we're not sugarcoating anything here. <laughs> we're going to give you the honest opinion. Yeah. So The truth. When, that's the right. truth only. <laughs> when, when we show up, when the Green Hornet shows up to your restaurant, no, just bring your A-game. <laughs> we're going to be like that uh, with the Barstool Pizza. You that's know, right. Like, the pizza. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So, so pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> Sam's like, hey, someone's flying our plane. <laughs> Unless it's you. <laughs> Which... Have Which in that call, case, yeah. right on, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> All right, we're getting close. So I better, better get serious here. <laughs> Time to go to work. Time to go to work. <laughs> Can't fall asleep. <laughs> so, one nine nine eight Mike South Tower, hold short runway two one. Hold short two one nine nine eight Mike. Here's one Fox Tower Mike, runway two one, clear to land. Two one, clear to land. Five one Fox Tower Mike. November seven zero eight, follow the Sears seven three mile right base. Your number three, runway two one, clear to land. Uh, follow the number three, and I like it okay. to go so just look out the uh, end of the runway and just hold it off, and uh, it'll come down when it wants. Sure. Right, Roger, runway 2, one clear, touch and go. Tower, citation 268, Charlie Mike, confirm, clear to land. Hey, Charlie Mike, confirm, runway 2, one clear to land. Clear to land, 20 two here, one, you said? Eight, Charlie yeah. Mike. Let's go. There you go, once we get on final, below 110, we'll add full flaps. Universal 58, extend, downwind. Traffic, 1 o'clock, same altitude, 1 mile. This is 7618, get in that right hand turn, contact me. Parker. 11 o'clock. 7618, There you go. And throttle as needed now. Yeah, actually, okay. Universal 58, make a left 360. Universal 58, so we'll do a left to right. 15 inches. 360. Altitude. Oh, whatever you need. If you pull it back, like, pull it, keep pulling it back until you feel it. Base turn is approved. That stairs just off, off, passed off your left side. There you go. You feel right there? Yeah. yeah. Feel it slower. There you go. Perfect. Right there. So... Just hold what you got, okay. slowing it back down below 110. Go ahead and add your uh, full flaps once you're below 110. Citation H, Charlie Mike, parking. So probably pull now a little bit more. Now we're going to Ross today, H, Charlie Mike. Perfect.
There you go. There's those barn doors. doors. Yep. Turn right, Alpha 5, taxi straight into the Ross ramp, monitor ground. There you go. Now, Aaron Point, uh, first speed, looking for 85 ground, knots. Charlie if you're a little bike. bit fast, it's okay. We'll bleed it off on the uh, okay. on the go, but this prop will slow down really quick. So that's one thing you got to be careful of. It'll slow it down faster than you can. Okay, I got the chair now. Faster than you can. Roger, runway 21, clear, touch and go. There you go. Aim point, Aaron. Touch and go, number two, following the chair, 7 3. We go rudders as needed. The rudder. Oh, yeah, and you got them back. Yep, yeah, you got them back now. A little bit to the right. There you go. I'm powered up slowly to idle and look way off in the distance, all the way to idle. Idle. Universal five eight extend down with your number hold two following us. That's two miles final. Nice. Universal five eight will extend. There you go. Now easy on the brakes. Yeah. There you go. Good. Tower Desert 594, Desert Visual, runway 21. Desert 594, Scott's Tower to right base, runway 21. Reduce final approach speed and oh, continue, yeah. traffic may hold position. Cool. Reduce final approach for, uh, speed and continue for Desert 594. Sir, Simon Foxtrot, Mike, stay parking. Uh, I'm going to see you, Charlie. Simon Foxtrot, Mike. Sir, Simon Foxtrot, Mike, exit at Alpha 9 and contact ground. Good day. Alpha 9 over ground, 51 Foxtrot, Mike, thanks. Close the ground again, point six. Universal 5, A number 2, following assessment just off your right side. Universal 5A, we... There you go, Captain. Perfect. Sir, <laughs> <laughs> 51 Foxtrot Mike, Scott's the ground. Texas to parking via Alpha. Parking via Alpha, 51 Foxtrot Mike. Two. All right, we'll just run this checklist. Power you got. Uh, fuel pump is on. Mixture. Let's go to the X. Responder lights off. Pedal hit switch is off. We didn't use the pumps, so we're up to shutdown. Cool, man. What'd you think? Wow, that's fun. <laughs> Thanks, Randy, for having me. Yeah, Appreciate it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, you can. You notice if you have a little bit of uh, of a cant in the, the, you know, you've got a little bit of a, a yaw in there. If you touch the nose down, you saw it shake yep, a little uh, bit. Yep, yep. I needed to hold it off a hold little it off bit. Hold yeah. just a little bit more, and then uh, as we get to a slower speed, it tends to, you know, not do that a little yep. bit more. But good, man. It's different landing, huh? Oh yeah, system. yeah. It's got a a flatter kind of. It kind of touches point. down nice though. It does touch down nice. You can get some really nice landings by accident, which <laughs> I have totally done. Yeah, <laughs> I think that last one might have been by accident too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll if you like. But uh, yeah, well, we are almost out of battery, so I think we're gonna say goodbye right cool. now. Cool. But uh, hey, thanks guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, we're just doing a little bit of fun flying, taking Luke flying and uh, thanks Ernie appreciate it yeah of course man <laughs> thank Luke for all the good editing he's the one that puts together all this stuff so super happy and grateful that uh, he's doing all that stuff but uh, anyways guys thanks again you know thumbs up subscribe and uh, we'll talk to you next week